Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Uh, today our series, Top Pop Math Chops, hashtag Math Chops. We're going to be talking about the prime number theorem. The proof is rather extensive, so we're just going to be talking about um, the basics. So the prime number theorem um, is the approximation of the amount of prime numbers less than a number n. And so today we're just going to talk about how it's, how it's calculated and um, some stuff about it. So the, the formula is, uh, as you say, pi of x, but it has nothing to do with 3.14. Um, that kind of pi, it's just a uh, notation. And it's um, the number x all over the natural log of x. And um, this formula gives us the approximation of the, the primes less than x. And so this natural log of x is uh, just a graph which um, has a decaying growth over time, which looks like this. So over time, as the, your x gets bigger, um, the amount of primes also, it, um, they space out more. And so this is growing. Um, so there'll be less primes as the numbers get bigger. Because at first you can see there's more and more primes, this ratio. But as um, ln gets larger, then the, um, the space between the primes also gets larger. And so if we want to talk about a number, let's say a million, um, we can do the, the math for that. So plugging into the formula, um, we see a million divided by ln of a million. And then um, ln of 1 million is 13.8155 and more after that. And then dividing a million by this, this um, number we found, um, we get 72,382 primes that are less than 1 million. And um, the actual number of primes, this is an approximation, remember? Um, I should probably correct that. It's not an exact number, so this tilde represents an approximation. Um, so the actual number is 78,498. And to find this actual number, you would find that by counting. Um, so mathematicians did it through the years, and that's what they found. Um, we can also look at um, the gap between primes, which is just going to be this ln of x. Again, this is an approximation um, because you have numbers like twin primes, which are uh, right after each other or two spaces away. <coughs> and. Um, so the gap between primes is approximately, for a million, is approximately 13.8155, so about 13 or 14. Um, also, we can look at, um, given a number, what's the probability of getting a prime below that? So the probability of getting a prime below a given x, if you choose a number randomly, um, is going to be this ratio, which is 1 over the natural log of x. So for a million, the probability um, of getting a prime below a million, once you choose any number below a million randomly, it's going to be 1 over um, this number we found, 13.8155, so about 1 14th percent chance of uh, getting a prime. Um, that pretty much wraps it up for the uh, prime number theorem. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, comment. 
Um, let us know what your favorite math chops um, proof or tidbit we did. And uh, please like and uh, subscribe for more content. Um, thank you.